Hey, what's going on, everyone? Jun here with Hapa E Kaiwa, and joining me today is Liz and Alex. Liz, Liz and Alex, how are you guys doing today? Very good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So uh, today, guys, um, I want to talk about Halloween customs in the United States.、Um, Halloween is something that、uh, we celebrate, or we celebrated as kids, but now it seems like it's also kind of a thing that we do as adults as well. So I want to kind of talk about those customs that uh, we uh, do here in the United States. All righty. 皆さんこんにちは。今日はですね、アメリカのハロウィンの習慣についてお話をしたいと思います。ハロウィンというとね、子供が祝うね、えー、ともともとは子供たちが祝うね、儀式だったのですが、最近は大人でもね、祝うようになったので、今日は、えー、とリズ先生とアレクス先生と一緒にハロウィンの祝い方、そして習慣について一緒に話していきたいと思います。ちなみに、リズ先生は、From Texas. Liz is from Texas and Alex is from Oregon. So, guys,、uh, let's get started here. We are going to do a fill in the blank thing today to get us started. So,、um, Halloween, so many things happen on Halloween, but this is the first fill in the blank I want you guys to do here. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of Halloween is. And go ahead and write your answer down here. Okay, 今日の動画では、えー、先生たちに空欄埋めをしていってもらいたいと思います。こういうふうにセンテンスを書いてもらい、先生たちにワイトボードに答えを書いてもらいたいと思います。Okay, Liz, well, it seems like、uh, you had your answer down. So, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Halloween, Liz? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. All right, pumpkins.、Um, so, yeah, Liz, uh, pumpkins, uh, what do you do with Pumpkins on Halloween. Do you eat them?、Uh, no. <laughs> we actually just、uh, we do pumpkin carving.、Uh, mm -hmm. We do jack o lanterns. We do for decoration mainly, but it's like、uh, for kids and adults too. Got it. Yeah.、Uh, let's go to Alex. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Halloween? Always. I think of Dracula. 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 All right. <laughs> Always.、Uh -huh. <laughs> And why, why is that? Why, why is it of all the things that happen on Halloween, Dracula is the first thing that comes to mind? Well, the thing is, I was kind of a vampire obsessive when I was younger.、Uh -huh. I loved vampires, I loved all the stories about vampires. So when I was a kid, every single time I would dress up as Dracula、uh -huh. and I would、uh, kind of get all the decorations around my house as Dracula. So just kind of that horror story. All of that kind of stuff that kind of goes around that. Yep, Dracula, a little bit dark, but that's my first, <laughs> first thought for sure. All right, well, let's keep it going. You know what? The second question, you might have already answered this one here, Alex.、Um, if you did,、um, maybe you can come up with another one or you can just keep the same answer. But my favorite or my best Halloween costume as a kid was what was your favorite costume or the Best costume that you had as a kid. All right, Alex,、oh, it looks、sure. like you're ready. Oh, for sure, for sure. Okay, so yes, yes, I did, like, I did like Dracula. I did dress up as Dracula sometimes, but actually, the main costume I dressed as was a ninja. Ah, a ninja. A ninja, yeah. How old were you, I, you、uh, when you were a ninja? I was probably between 10 to 13, 14. Every year I was a ninja during that. Every、time. year? Wow. Love ninjas. Watch all the ninja movies. I had all the little ninja tools and things, climbing trees with hooks on my hands, things like that.、Uh -huh. huh. So, yeah. So, I was a ninja for a couple of years at least. Before、right. I moved to Liza, how did you get into ninjas? Um, I think probably the first time as I watched that movie, American Ninja.、Uh, and you know, there was a movie series, they had a couple of them. And then I really liked that one, started watching other movies. And then one day I was in a shop and they had a ninja costume. Asked my parents, please, 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 can I buy that? And they finally said yes. And then I didn't just wear it for Halloween, I wore it other times as well. <laughs> So, I really like ninjas. They were fun. But for Halloween, at least a couple of years, I was a ninja. Nice. All right, Liz, what about you? 
uh, it's in Spanish and English. Hmm. So it's called a Catrina originally because it's uh -huh. Spanish, but it's a skeleton lady. Oh, so I don't know if you're familiar with Coco, the movie, the Disney movie. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So I'm Mexican American and I grew up, I literally grew up with that. <laughs> so uh, in Texas, uh, it's mainly Mexican Americans and we grew up with kind of a mix of Halloween and Day of the Dead. Mm. So it's either one or two years, but the coolest costume to have or to do is Katrina, which is the skeleton lady. Ah, I mean, it's actually interesting. Right <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. Um, for that costume, um, did you make your costume? It almost sounds like you made that costume or is that something that you purchased at a store? You can purchase nowadays it's, it's, it's very commercialized. However, the coolest thing to do was to get like an old dress uh and do your face your like on do it on your own like mm. do it black and then the sparkler like, if it had more sparkles it was better got it all right mm -hmm. very cool sparkly skeleton that sounds pretty cool yes. <laughs> it, it is. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah uh all right let's go to the next one uh, trick or treating i want to talk about trick or treating cus the trick or treating custom in the united states um so this time instead of filling in the blank i just want you guys to answer these questions that i have where did you trick or treat who did you trick or treat with what time did you usually go trick-or-treating? Which house do you go trick-or-treating to? Is it any house or is there like a particular rule that you followed when it came to choosing a house? And the how many is how many candies did you take per house? <laughs> okay, so give a trick or treating no bunka ni tsuito hanashio staito moimas. Trick or treating kore yatta koto ga naito ne choto. わかんないですよね。どういうふうにトリックオーチューリングをすべきか。まずどこでトリックオーチューリングをするのか、誰と一緒にするのか、何時にトリックオーチューリング行くのか、どの家にトリックオーチューリング行くのか、そしてお菓
go with friends because if you go with your siblings, it was lame. So <laughs> friends and we would get a lot of candy. And uh, so we would go to each friend's um, neighborhoods. So if uh -huh. we went to, with mine and then we would go to theirs and we would just dump around our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. uh, we always went to the rich neighborhood, like, oh, that's a rich friend. Let's go there. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the way we would know they would give us uh, candy is if they had their lights on, that's a good that's a good place to knock and trick or treat. Obviously, the, the corrections also. But mm -hmm. if they had their uh, lights off, no bother. So we, gotcha. we kind of respect that, that always. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Perfect. people went out. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and how many candies would you usually grab? Or would that also be up to the person giving it to you, just like Alex? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they they kind of you don't grab you, they give you. And there some you are really generous, and some are like come on to or an apple. You're like come on, get things. <laughs> yeah, the, the apple. The <laughs> apple. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Apple. Yeah. Well, Liz, uh, you're talking about being in a rich neighborhood. Um, what is the best treat that you got? Did you get anything? better than an apple <laughs> yes yes of course uh we would get like um little uh sometimes uh baggies like baggy treats like full of full of good candy like even homemade candy which was really mm. good but my mom always kind of inspected before we ate anything so mm. it was like a rich neighborhood but we knew that person yeah we were good to eat it but if mm. we didn't then no and because that was like at that time it was like oh my people might put stuff in the candy so adults always had to supervise before we put anything in our mouth yep yeah and um you know alex you were talking about safety uh same with your parents did they always sort through the candies and uh threw away some of the ones that they thought were a little bit suspicious and kept the ones that were okay to eat well i remember so both of my parents they worked at hospitals hmm. and in my hometown uh sometimes the hospitals would actually open up to allow people to come in for x-rays you would x-ray the stuff because wow. there were i i don't know if it ever happened right but if you remember this at least in my area there were rumors about like an urban myth urban legend that people would sometimes put needles or razor blades mm. or like different stuff inside candy and i don't know if that was ever true but enough parents were worried. So my parents often would go to the hospital and we would actually x-ray all the wow. candy Crazy. to see if there was any metal inside. Uh -huh. But we never we never found anything. It was always safe, it was always fine. So, but yeah, I remember that. I thought that was crazy, that idea. So our last question for today or the last topic for today is, celebrating halloween as adults so um again i'm gonna have it's like a three-part question here halloween as adults how many halloween parties have you guys been to and number two i'm sure you guys have been to you know different types of parties but what is a halloween party like for adults like wh what do you do right i mean as kids you are going around the neighborhood collecting treats as adults, what, what do adults do on Halloween day? And costumes, uh, what kind of costumes do adults wear? What kind of costumes did you wear? I'll kind of leave that question open for interpretation right there. Okay, Liz, are you ready? Okay. So, um, 20 or more. 20 or more, <laughs> wow, all right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I cannot remember. Like, <laughs> yeah, a, a lot. It was like- Is that, is that because of the second answer? Drinking games? <laughs> <laughs> the drinking games um, were always a good, a must in every Halloween party, a must. Uh -huh. um, and the costumes, sexy chef, nurse, bunny, anything for a girl and as an adult, sexy, whatever you want the sexiness is a pretty important thing when you become an adult right yeah. all right uh alex how about you um so in the last five or ten years i think i've been to three three been to three not so many and what did we do of course there were drinks there was lots of food but a big part of it was like a horror movie marathon Okay. So it's kind of a small party, 
like only about six, eight people, but everybody was supposed to bring in their favorite horror movie and their favorite horror movie scene. So we weren't watching the entire movie. We were just watching their favorite scene, like five minute or 10 minute scene. And then that was, that was kind of what was organized for one of them. And then the costume of the last one I went to was supposed to be just famous scientists. Mm, was that was the theme, theme huh? famous scientists. And then you just had to guess like who each person was. So I chose Albert Einstein because a couple of years ago, my hair was super long and crazy. So I thought just frizz it out, mm. get a bit of an Afro. I'll be Einstein. Very interesting. Yeah. And oh, I think that, uh, that does remind me, I think uh, the Halloween parties that I attended to had a theme to it. So everybody would dress up as a character from like a movie or whatever the topic was. Uh, I guess this year, if you guys are following, uh, you know, what's going on, um, I actually just recently saw my Facebook post that uh, there's a Halloween party coming up among my friends, uh, not my close friends, but my Facebook friends, you know, um, <laughs> The Squid Game Halloween Party. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the talk of the town right now. It yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah. So the Squid Game Halloween Party is probably going to be a thing this year. I wouldn't doubt that. All right. Um, the last question of the day. This one, we're just going to talk about it. We don't have to write anything down. Why do you guys think Halloween has become so popular among adults? Because I want to say that this is more of a recent phenomenon. Um, why do you guys think it is becoming so popular? And I know, uh, Alex, you live in Japan. I know uh, within the last, like, what, five to seven years or so, uh, Shibuya Halloween thing has become quite a thing out there. So why do you guys think it's catching on so much um, among adults? And two part question here. Do you guys still think Halloween is mainly for kids or do you think that it's becoming more of a adult celebration? So Alex, I'll start with you. Well, I'd say in Japan, like kind of real adults, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, etc are still fairly hesitant about getting into Halloween. Mm -hmm. They still really see it as kind of a very foreign, kind of unnatural holiday. And they usually just kind of shake their heads when they see these kinds of, you know, TV broadcasts. But for younger people, for, you know, kids, you always have the kids that are liking it. They have kind of kids' little parades and costume shows and things like that. They love it. And then for Shibuya, for Harajuku, you know, those areas, it's just a great excuse to be a bit crazy, to show your creativity. And, you know, Japan is really big into cosplay anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, so just dressing up is just a huge part of the culture anyway. So Halloween is a great reason to like, have a really creative costume, go out and just drink and have fun and be crazy. You know, it's just a great excuse. Good point right there though. And Liz, your thoughts about Halloween celebrations? That's kind of our label to uh, think of, remember everything that rem reminds us of our childhood. We want to be uh, attach it. Like we want to still relive it over and over and over. So I think that's why nowadays uh, adults uh, want to still celebrate. Uh, Halloween. They want to remember that. They want to be still in that time. So I don't know if it's just because uh, I just recently watched the Squid Games, but uh, that just reminds me of the Squid Games <laughs> as <in> the whole <laughs> theme <laughs> right there. Wanting to relive your childhood, the the fun you know that you used to have, right? The innocence and uh, all the fun times that you used to have with kids. To everybody watching, um, Alex and Liz are both amazing teacher on Cafe Talk. Um, all of their information is listed in the de description below, or you can go to cafetalk.com and find them there. Liz, Alex, thank you guys very much. See you guys next time. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Thank you.